21st of October, 1805, the Battle of Trafalgar. The most decisive battle that the world had seen since 480 BCE, when the combined Greek fleet beat the Persians. It's now shrouded in a degree of mythical romanticism uh, that makes one believe that it was a exercise in gentlemanly restraint. It wasn't. At Trafalgar, Nelson was outweighed in an age of sail by a combined Franco-Spanish fleet that outnumbered him, that had a much greater weight of firepower. The odds were stacked against him. His doctrine would not have allowed him to win under normal circumstances, but Nelson didn't trust simply to numbers or technological superiority. Indeed, it's widely believed that the combined fleets of the enemy were technologically superior to anything that the Royal Navy had. And yet, Nelson achieved an outstanding victory, a complete and utter defeat, the ultimate naval decisive battle of arguably the last 250 years. Why? Nelson was not orthodox. He was uh, a social pariah. He might have been loved for his victories, but he was certainly not a conformist. Nelson believed in one simple thing, and it wasn't luck, and it wasn't positioning. It certainly wasn't the wind. Nelson believed in his men, not his ships. He believed that his men, the liars, cheats, and thieves that consisted the gun crews of the Royal Navy, could beat the enemy. He came up with new tactics. He trained his men relentlessly and developed a methodology whereby he could execute with his captains and his guns crew a different kind of battle. A battle in which everything that he invested was based on trust. Trust in his captains, trust in his men. No micromanagement. The freedom for each ship, each captain, each gun crew to operate. And it was through this that he achieved devastating impacts over the enemy with impacts and consequences that were to last well over 200 years. The Battle of Trafalgar should be celebrated for this. It should be celebrated for an idea that we can beat adversaries simply through outthinking them if we believe and trust in our people.